Oh, do we have an epic battle for you today. Four sevens, Prion two versus the Oso oh classic mini maglite incandescent style. Now, you might be saying to your screen right now, epic? I don't know about epic. Doesn't even seem like a fair fight. And you're right, but we'll get to that in a second. And it should also be pointed out that this is in no means a full review, if a review really, by standard means at all, of the Prion 2. There's another YouTuber out there you may have heard of that's done more than one video about the Prion 2. It's probably the reason I bought it in the first place. Very extensive, probably 40 minutes. You probably know who I'm talking about. So I'm not one for reinventing the wheel unless I have something to add. So today what we're actually gonna do is go over, over uh, out back in our testing facility, otherwise known as my backyard. It is nighttime and we're gonna see what kind of light output um, we actually get in real life with, uh, with this flashlight versus the mini mag light. And back to my point about why the unfair fight. Certainly there's mag light products out there that are in a closer class. I don't know if they have any better, but at least a closer class to our friend the Prion 2 here. Um, the reason is, this here, well you clicked on it so you're probably somewhat interested. Um, I've just to guess that many of you may not have ever used one of these, let alone own one. I will go so far as to say that uh, I'm pretty sure just about everybody watching this has used one of these classic mini mag lights and probably owned one. So this is more of a baseline. Uh, a comparison to something that you should be familiar with, the mag light. So before we uh, go out back and actually look at the light output on this thing, let's just look at some, some quick comparisons. Uh, obviously you have them side by side here. I got the depth about right. So you can see the length is similar off by about an inch or so. Um, a lot skinnier on the Prion and the weight is, uh, is considerably better as well. I believe if we pull our scale out, the mag light is, just gonna have to trust me, don't know if you can even see these readings, actually you can. Uh, this is with batteries in it, which is all we really care about, right? Uh, three and three quarters ounces. That actually is exactly what the uh, stats on paper say. So you got close to four ounces there, and your Prion 2 uh, scale is zeroed. You're pushing an ounce and a half with the batteries in it. So that's substantial, especially if you're gonna carry this every day. Um, that, the weight coupled with the uh, thickness, I mean, I carry this, I have, an, I have an office job, I carry this with me every day. I don't even think anybody notices um, or they just think it's a pen in my pocket. I forget it's there. I, I, I could carry this with my dress clothes every day. Uh, I think I get sick of it and it probably wouldn't be as discreet. Um, and we wouldn't want everyone knowing how paranoid of a person I am, you know, but the zombies will attack sometime and you could be at work. Be ready for that. Now there is one very important factor though, other than the obvious visual and performance aspects, and that's price. Now this, you can walk into just about any store right now, the mag light, 10 bucks probably at Walmart um, or just about anywhere. Probably got this at the gas station down the street. And if you lose it, not the end of the world, okay? <laughs> now, this, eh, you'd be a little mad at yourself if you lost, 43 bucks, you can get it on the internet, you can get it for $45 directly from, four sevens. Um, so you're looking at a substantial price difference. And kind of like I said in my, uh, my cheap knife video, a big part of it is disposability. You don't want to lose your knife or your flashlight, but if you think that it's a possibility, then you're going to give up some performance so you're comfortable with that risk. Um, so, you know, that's a big part of it. Uh, we'll cut the lights real quick. I'll just show you the beams um, here, and then we'll go outside. So let's see, now that we're completely dark, there is our mag light. We'll focus the beam like so. That's, you know, that's the only level you got other than focusing the the width, which is cool, but that's that. This is low. This is 2.2 lumens for the Prion 2. This is again the regular mag light, 15 lumens by the way. 
medium. Um, let's see, that's about according to my stats over here. About 22 lumens uh, on medium. And as you can see, that makes sense. It's a little bit brighter than the 15. And then we can drag it all the way up to high. We're pushing 160 lumens. It's way too bright to even tell on this table, but it looks pretty, makes the maglite look pretty pitiful. So uh, let's take it out back in a more practical application and see what this really looks like, shall we? Uh, one more quick note should be mentioned, both these flashlights have identical brand and type of alkaline batteries. The only difference is one has triple A's, that would be the Prion, two and the double A's are in the maglite. Here we are, backyard, got a fence about, I don't know, 20 yards away at the most, something like that. Let's turn the mag light on. And I can see about <laughs> two yards, no, a yard and a half in front of me is that pot, potted uh, plant. This is the mag light. And I'm kind of hitting the fence back there. Focus in, there you go, top of the fence, neighbor's house who's freaking out right now. Um, that is the mag light. Put that away. This is the Prion on low. Can't even see, there it is with the mag light. Can't even see the potted plant. Um, pretty boring for video, I know. That's two lumens, but the battery would last a long time. So let's go one click to medium. And there's our well-lit plant right there. And back fence. May not be coming up on video quite as well, but you can see without the directional beam of the mag light, I'm not getting that focus beam, but I am actually getting a wider arc that's lighting up a good chunk of the yard. Um, I, here's the mag light zoomed out. You can't hit the fence, but the cool thing about the mag light, I can condense that beam, and boom, look at that. I cannot duplicate that with the Prion, but again, what you're not seeing is that it's uh, it's got a really wide arc lighting up the yard. And let's go full strength. There's the high beam. So now we're rocking full strength with the Prion. We're completely blowing out that at about a yard and a half. And the fence and the freaked out neighbors. Look, we can see a silhouette of the whole house. Not to mention uh, my camera isn't necessarily that great at dark, but uh, we are lighting the yard up pretty nice right now with the Prion. And here's the mag light. Nice concentrated beam, but the rest of the yard is a mystery. Uh, good for horror movies, not so much for actually seeing zombies in real life. So there you have it, uh, Prion 2 versus Mini Mag Light. But one more thing, let's do some interior stuff. Uh, let's see how we can do a room. Let's go down to the basement. This is the Prion on medium. Uh, I should also note, for self-defense, you put this thing on high, and it easily can be held in between two fingers of your weekend, and you're going to blind the crap out of somebody that you take from take by surprise. Um, whereas, I'm just in here in my reloading room, whereas, uh, again, that's that on high, the, um, <laughs> there's your mini mag light. Uh, I got a focus beam, wide beam. Not exactly going to blind an aggressor, and, um, I'm, again, I'm lighting up little pieces of this room, but when I put this baby on high, if we focus, um, we're lighting up which you can't see the entire room right now. So pretty cool stuff. There you go.